Hey, what's going on, guys? Got Chef PV here, Zero Ground FPV. Uh, sitting on the bench for the quad spotlight is the Coyote by All Carbon RC. Big huge shout out to Ricky Darby. Thank you very much, man, for letting me be one of the first to have this frame. This is actually one of the original prototype frames. Um, I was able to test it, give some feedback, and they now have this in production. Uh, it is becoming one of my favorite frames that I have. Um, it is a stretched X. And so it's not a perfect perpendicular X, uh, but what it is, is the stretched X to me has been flying very interestingly. Um, I like it for freestyle more than I like it for racing, though it really is an all around feel locked in feeling whenever you get one of these things tuned right. Um, it's the high speed turns and cornering banking that a stretched X just seems to handle better. It almost feels like it pulls itself around turns and like a high speed bank. So like whenever you're kind of like this and you're going around a turn and then you yaw, it just feels like it just wants to go around um, more easy than say an X, a small X frame that for me, it wants the guidance to go around. It'll, it'll go straight for, you know, better than it will for some reason in a turn it seems. Um, but other guys say that they don't like them. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So the Coyote. Um, it is a very interesting design. It's got this upper roll cage for durability factor. Um, keeps all your components nice and safe. We'll open it up here in a minute and show you how it's built. Um, the whole thing goes together quite easily. It's got four screws at the top to hold the cage kind of as a cage. And then it's got four screws at the bottom that hold the cage down. Once you lift that off, that's the bottom there, and each arm is held in with two main screws, and then you have your PDB, um, your 38 millimeter, you know, standard stack screws. Um, besides that, obviously your four motor screws. Notice that the arms do have holes at the end, so if you want to reverse your wiring and run it underneath, you can do that. So they give you options in the way you build it. My most impressive thing about this, though, is. The way that the, the stack goes together, or the, the frame goes together in a stack, it's sandwiched between two very, very durable, thick, like, I mean, I want to say those are, I'd have to take my, oh, here it is, my caliper out, let's measure it. I'd say they're three millimeter plates, they could be two and a halves. Yeah, so they look to be about a two and a half mil plate. So you've got two two and a half mil plates sandwiched between the four mil, yep, four mil arms. So all together, you've got nine millimeters of just durability and thickness on the frame, as you can see there. Um, I know some people will say, well, it's super weighty. It's got a lot of weight to it. It's too heavy. Look, for somebody like me, durability factor is a key issue. And that um, is just, it works. Um, again, four mil arms, so you don't really have a problem breaking them. Um, I have snapped one, but it was at a full-on hard hit. Uh, quick to replace. I literally took me five minutes. Uh, besides that, let's look at the outside. I've got the Blackstar Drone 2205-2300s running on it. Uh, Acon 30 uh, bolt lights that have just been on one of my builds for quite a while, and so I just literally have continued to use them. Uh, they are running multi-shot. So we run multi-shot with a Lux V2, and we'll open it up and take a look at it on beta flight. And let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Uh, let's see. So to open up the cage, it's real simple. Um, it's this screw here. There's four of them. Now, I did choose to build this slightly different than they intended. They do include um, mounting position for the camera. However, I just didn't like the way the camera, you know, I, they just keep coming loose. And it's not the frame design at all. Um, you know, it's these, th the cameras that have the screw holes that they get stripped out and they start getting loose. So I did go back to kind of an old school method that I do, uh, which is just hot glue. So, you know, I find the camera position and I just hot glue that, that bad boy in there. So you will notice um, it's a little dirty. You'll also notice on the back some hot glue for the SMA. 
Um, this is actually not just hot glue. It's a little bit of hot glue underneath that I use to just position the SMA. And then I took um, epoxy and it's covered in epoxy around the inside um, in order to hold it in place. And that was just because I did not want to top mount it anywhere. There is a way to kind of zip tie it or put it up here at the top. I just didn't like that. So I wanted it back underneath and out of the way. So here we go. We'll lift the canopy off. It will be a little glued in there. So uh, the front. All right. That's as far as I'm going to open it up just because I don't want to rip all my hot glue out. But you can see my camera is in there. And the way I have it hot glued is it's just literally positioned where the screw holes are on both sides and then hot glued into place at the angle that I want. So I can't adjust my angle, but I'm fine with that with this lens. Um, it's a wide view lens, so I should be fine with it. Um, the one thing you will note is the little nuts that fall out. You gotta be careful of those. Um, I do glue a couple of them in there to where they're in position all the time. But, oh, there we go. Yep, the rest of them are still in place. So once we open it up inside, it's just a standard stack. Um, so again, I've got the Lux V2. I've got an X4R. It's even got pins on it. That way they actually hang right out the back and I can actually plug a transponder into it. Unify Pro Race. Oops, sorry. Unify Pro Race. It's my VTX of choice pretty much on any of my builds. And like I said, you'll see... There's the SMA connector that I just glued right down into place. I've even got uh, my beeper hanging out in here just because it's protected. And then on this one, like usual, I use just a standard multi-rotor mania PDB, uh, 16 volts in, 16 volts out. The only other real thing that I wanted to show you guys was I do have my antennas ran just straight down the edge and you can see the end of it sticking out there and there's the other one on this edge of my arms i've had no problems doing that on this build and i've done it previously on other builds so um, i did that again just to kind of keep this build clean and nice so that's my coyote um it, gotta put this thing back together real quick plug the bat or plug the camera back in and shove it back together but it, it's just an awesome little frame man and it's durable as hell um, I definitely would recommend it um, as a stretch deck if you're looking for one. Very interested in seeing what All Carbon comes out with next. Again, thanks, Ricky. Um, you guys go out and go to allcarbonrc.com and check them out and buy you one. All right? Fly safe, fly smart. Just fly. Hey, fly a coyote. Peace.